Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through as a year 13 student how can you juggle revising the year 12 content keeping it fresh in your mind whilst also learning all of the more challenging year 13 content as well and to help you with this I've actually created a plan a timetable that you can use for free which you can download in the description so definitely download that and then watch this video to see how to use it so if we have a look at the two plans because yes i have created two plans for you for free the first one is about how to prepare from now in november to your mocks which i'm going by the dates of my school which is january if yours isn't january you'll have to tweak this plan slightly but i'm assuming november December, January, we've got three months. So for this plan, what I've done is, for all of the year 12 topics, made sure that they come up at least once across those three months so you have a chance that you can do some revision. And the idea is for each month, there's five or six topics listed and that is what you'll focus on that week. Now, obviously there's not six weeks in a month, so you might need to do a topic and a half, something like that. Um, and the idea is to use maybe 20 minutes as a minimum, 60 minutes ideally, each week going over your year 12 content. So that could be just one of your study periods, or it could be your journey on the bus to school, your journey on the bus home, or just one evening, pick an hour where you're going to do it. And the sorts of things you could do can be flashcards, or it could be blurting, but I'm gonna come back to that idea a bit later. But for now, it's just letting you know, here's the plan, those are the topics, and try and fit in 20 to 60 minutes per week. And hopefully starting at 20 minutes will make it feel manageable and then you can build up to the 60, if at the moment that sounds way too much. Final thing I want to say linked to the mock preparation is, when you do get to maybe the two or three weeks before the exam, you might need to tweak the plan that I'm giving away there for free because you will need to obviously revise more than just one year 12 topic a week when you've only got one week left until your exam. And at that point, focus on the topics that you find the hardest or hardest to remember. And you'll need to be spending more than 20 minutes per week at that stage as well. Next then, let's have a look at the second plan that I've made you, which is how to do this long-term revision from your mocks until your actual exams. So we're talking about maybe January till May stroke June. So we've got a longer period of time here. Again, the timetable I've made follows the same idea. For each month, there's five or six year 12 topics that I suggest and it covers all of the year 12 topics, some of them multiple times. And that is to give you an idea of what to revise each week, to take the pressure off you, having to think about it, spending time deciding or creating a plan, definitely click down below and download that for free. So after January, following this new plan, same idea, 20 to 60 minutes, ideally 60 at this stage. Hopefully by that point, your UCAS is sent off. Maybe interviews are starting to finish if you do have an interview subject. So now's the time just to focus on your A-levels. So this timetable is a good general guide to give you an idea of what to revise each week from year 12. But what I would like to say is, I think it probably works best if you personalize it because once you've done your mocks, you'll have an idea of which topics you actually find you can remember really well and you find easier compared to which topics from year 12 you find harder to remember and you just don't seem to be getting as many marks. So have a look at the general timetable that I've created, but you might want to take some of the topics out and replace it for an extra session on one of the harder topics like mass flow for example instead of carbohydrates or whatever it might be for you so do personalize it to meet your needs and then the final thing is what to do in these consolidation sessions so if you've only got 20 minutes i think probably flashcards would be the best thing to use because they are great for being able to test what you can and can't remember and for teaching you the key marking points. And if you don't have time to make flashcards, then I've got in the description access to my flashcards for OCRA and for AQA. So you can check those out. Those are mark scheme answers for all of the key terms. So go through your flashcards, checking through what you do and don't know. If you find that there's something that you just really can't remember, at that point, pause and you can watch my YouTube video on it so you've got that refresher instead. Or if flashcards aren't your thing, the Active Recall workbook that I've got is brilliant for this because it tests, again, what you do and don't know and it comes with an answer booklet so you can completely check the key marking points and that you're on track. Or you can do things like blurting, just writing down everything you can remember, then filling in the gaps in a bright colour pen. 
So I'd start off doing something active, like one of those three methods. And then from that, that's probably gonna be about 20 minutes. If you're gonna spend longer than 20 minutes, anything that you couldn't really remember, you might want to read your book on or watch one of my videos to just fill in the gaps to make sure you fully understand it. And then the final 20 minutes, if you're gonna do 60 minutes, I would highly recommend spending 20 minutes on exam questions. How many go at the questions, marking them, and then just picking out any key marking points or phrases that are underlined so you start to learn for that topic try and get this word or phrase in every single time. So there we have it. That is how I would approach balancing learning year 13 content whilst revising year 12 at the same time. And hopefully this idea of just fitting in 20 minutes to begin with and building it up to an hour feels more manageable. And the fact that you've got this timetable that you can follow for free means it's all set up for you. It won't take you any time to think about it. You've just got to get on and do it. So download that. And if you do want to jump straight into some revision, then I recommend you check out my entire topic playlists. These are my most popular videos by a long way. They summarize the entire topic for you in one video. So I'll link those just here for you. But for now, best of luck and I'll see you next week.